On August 12th of 1982, boxing had lost its newest phenom. During a training camp for the rematch with the talented Juan Laporte, Chava decided to escape the watchful eye of his trainers to hang out with what the local news call admirers. On his way back, Chava decided to hop in his Porsche 928. Chava was known to have an affinity for sports cars. On that fatal night on his ride home, the local news detailed that Chava was rear-ended by a semi when trying to pass it on a two-lane road. The car was completely demolished and it would be a blow that Chava would not be able to survive. His family, friends, and boxing fans were all shook to the core. <laughs> After years of watching a new superstar grow, he was suddenly gone in an instant. Chava had risen through the ranks of boxing, becoming the people's champ along the way to his moment of maximum luminosity. The boy from Santiago Tiangosteco in seven years was able to conquer the boxing world and rise to the very top. Chava's death shook even his opponents from Danny Little Red Lopez to Wilfredo Gomez and Juan Laporte. Wilfredo will no longer get a chance to avenge his loss. Chava, on his part, had dreams of moving up in weight after the Juan Laporte fight to fight another legend in the sport, Alexis Arguello. After this fight, Chava wanted to retire and become a doctor. At his funeral, 50,000 people showed up from locals, media, fans, and fellow fighters. These days, Chava is remembered every August 12th where fans pay their respects to the fighter. Chava's annual homage starts with a mass at the local church, followed by a visit to his grave. And to top it all off, they host amateur boxing fights in his memory after the visit. According to articles and videos, Wilfredo Gomez kept a strong relationship with Chava's family after his passing. 